At the beginning of the film, Do You Want, who is the goalkeeper of the dashing club, was called for a meeting by a man named Mr. Jean. He was ready to pay him a lot of money to help the other team win by arranging the next match. Otherwise, Do You's career was not going very well. In the last few years, he did many things. He bit a player, due to which he was suspended for many matches. He started playing in the girls' team with makeup. He served food on his body and whatnot. But despite all this, he told everyone that he is not for sale. And now, in the next match, he will not let the other team score even a single goal. During the match, he stopped a great goal, but then he conceded a punch due to overconfidence. He played so badly that the other team was celebrating by jumping in the air. Dew was very sad because of being kicked out of the team, but he was also very happy. The player and his best friend persuaded him and brought him to talk to him. But the coach insulted him there and said, Look, son, we have taken a dog in your place on the team. He also plays better than you. While returning home, a man pretended to hit his car while crossing the road. He was already in a bad mood, so he caught him and first hit the car three to four times and then started cleaning the windshield with his body like a cloth. Then a girl, Shaju, who was passing by, saw them and started protesting against Kedrival like a true fan. People together got both of them jailed for beating that man. Mr. Jean got them bail. He told to you that he is not a football coach, and the meeting that happened the other day was a test of his self-esteem. He took him to his office and introduced Do You to Mr. Jean and Mr. Liv. They told him that his grandfather also had a brother, who got separated from the family, due to differences with him, and died about a month ago. And Do You has a lot of his entire property, but before the entire property is given to him, Do You will have to pass a test which his grandfather had decided before dying. He will have to spend a billion yuan, which is about 1180 crores, in a month. Only then will he get the remaining 30 billion yuan, i.e., about 35,390 crores. But this challenge also includes some rules. The money cannot be used in an illegal way. At the end of the month, he should not be left with anything like his purchased house or car, and he should not give this money to anyone. He cannot give gifts or charity. He can hire a maximum of 100 people, but he has to let them do their services, i.e., the work for which he has hired them. He cannot spoil the valuables he has bought, he cannot buy anything for more than the market value intentionally. And the last rule was that he cannot tell anyone about this game. But if he does not want to take this test, then he can leave with 10 million yuan, and the rest of the money will remain in the trust fund. Jean asked his accountant to calculate all his expenses. It was none other than Zian Zhu who was bent upon taking revenge for sending him to jail. Do you immediately hired him? He went to the bank with Sang Zhang to check his money. He had never seen so much money in his life. As soon as he came out of the safe, he started stealing the money he got from the bank. Do you hired all the guards of the bank for dangerous tactics. After this, he went to his football team and told them that he is renting them and the best club in the Chinese league, so that after the repair work of the stadium is completed, he can organize a match between the two teams. But they all started laughing at him. To make them believe his words, he dumped a JCB full of money in the football ground. He also rented some cars and left for the hotel with his entire team. On the way, he sat in a separate car with Shaju and started flirting with her, to which Shaju said that everyone reached a luxurious hotel. Although only members are allowed there, the two paid extra money to the manager and took the entire hotel on rent for a month. The manager was happy and took everyone to the dining room because the two could make their own hotels with this money. He could spend on employees, and after renting the football team, all of that became implicit in his mind. So all this was completely justified according to the rules of the condition. He announced that he was starting an investment company, whose CEO would be Sang Rong. He became very emotional on hearing this, but he did not know that Du made him CEO only because he was a big idiot, and Du was sure that he would not agree until he had spent all the money. Du started spending money with all his might. From haircuts worth crores to renting expensive cars, furniture and clothes, he did not miss any opportunity to waste money. Saju made him understand that if he continued to spend like this, then all his money would be finished in six months, which is five months more than Basmati's plan. Just then, Saju's boyfriend, Janelu, reached there. In a little while, he was going to give a lecture on how one should not run after money. On hearing this, Do took out a lot of money from his safe and said, Take this money, leave this teacher's job and become a gardener with me. Seeing so much money, he immediately agreed to become the owner and happily drank a couple of pegs. Shaju was shocked to see him like this, 
and she broke up with him and left from there. In the first meeting of her investment company, Doe asked him to invest a lot of money in the sectors that were going into loss. Then a strange man entered, who wanted funding for his stupid show. He had made a device with the help of which people can even walk on the ground. Thinking that money will be lost here, Doe gave him huge funding, and after that he started Shark Tank, in which he funded the ideas of every person present there. The next day, do you met Mr. In and like at the golf course. He understood that they must have sent him, so that he could make do you lose this challenge somehow. During lunch, where everyone else was served luxurious food, do you fed instant noodles to he and Lai because, according to the rules of the bet, he can spend only on his employees. Do you invited an American business strategist, Mr. Lafitte, to China by paying a lot of money and asked him to suggest a business in which all the money will be lost. That business coach got angry at this and said that he only trains people for success and not for failure. He left from there in anger without eating food. Do you does not miss a single opportunity to spend money. He keeps a tax on every part of his body. In the meeting, he came to know that the share prices of the companies in which he had invested were skyrocketing, and his investment firm was printing a lot of money. Hearing this, his mood got spoiled. We saw that Shazu was celebrating her birthday sitting alone in her house when Lu came there and gave her a bouquet of flowers. Shazu thought that he had come there for her birthday, but he had come to get a recommendation from her for funding one of his ideas. Shazu threw the cake on her face. She went from there to do you, who had arranged for a show of acrobatics to spend the money. The whole sky was filled with colors. Shazu was very happy to see Duyu and told Duyu that today is her birthday. She also hit a four on the occasion and said, you know, people are bursting bombs in that happiness. The next day, Shazu saw that Duyu had put up her posters all over the city, in which he wrote that he should give Duyu a chance to win his heart. He installed these things on TV, radio, and even in hot air balloons. She called Duyu and asked him to remove all this, but he refused to do so. When she was going to the hotel, she saw that the same man, because of whom she had handed over Duyu to the police, was pretending to hit her car today. She realized that Duyu was not lying the other day. On meeting her, Shaju said that she also wanted to understand him better. Duyu organized a private concert for her in the hotel itself, where her favorite singer would perform. They enjoyed a lot together. At night, he took her out for dinner, where they played football and also went for a romantic walk on the riverbank. The next day, when Du Yu, instead of practicing with his team, started playing football, he saw them partying. He told them the reason for their happiness, that their investment company made a profit of 10 billion yuan. In anger, he punched him in the face, ran and jumped into the bridge. If he had even one yuan left at the end of the month, he would not get a penny. Then an idea came to his mind. He called the entire media and announced that he was starting an insurance scheme for obese people, in which anyone could register by paying just one yuan, and the company would give you one yuan for losing one gram of weight. That is, if someone lost one kilogram, he would get a thousand yuan. And and Lai got very angry at this, but because insurance is a legal business, it is absolutely justified according to the rules. People in the entire city registered for this program, and everyone started reducing their weight. People left the lift and started using stairs. Two were called humanitarian offices. He was given the award of the year by the team of D. Though he said on the stage that he is doing all this only for himself and not for humanity, everyone thought that he is just showing badness. On the day of the football match, the captain of the Han Tai Club decided that he would score at least in double digits against this rubbish team. Though there were very few supporters, still his team made a grand entry in a helicopter. When the match started, Sang Wang pretended to be injured and got the best player of the Han Tai Club a red card. But despite this, he scored eight goals before halftime. To save the honor of his team, Du Yu told everyone that they would not lose the double-digit match by doing anything. But when the game resumed, they scored one more goal. The players of Dashing gave their all in the match, so that no matter what happens, Dasvan will not concede a goal. Seeing their spirit, you will be surprised. And the supporters of the other team also started supporting him. After the substitute match was over, the coach himself came on the ground to play, but he slipped and injured his back. He somehow stopped the other team from scoring a goal. After the match, Darshan and the whole team were overjoyed. After the match, people got a call from Shaju's number. An unknown man said that he had kidnapped Shaju, and if he did not give $10 million by morning, he would kill her. Diu was in a big problem. If he gave that money to the kidnappers, it would be against the rules of the challenge, and he would fail this test.
But actually, this was the last test set by his grandfather to know whether he would give more importance to human life than money or not. Mr. Jean had full faith in Duyu that he would save Shaju. He would definitely give money for it, but he was playing music in a bar there until morning. As soon as Mr. Jean and Shaju got disappointed and started to leave from there, they found him sitting on the stairs with money and crying. The last video made by his grandfather was played, and Mr. Jean told him that he had become the owner of $30 billion. We saw that after roaming the whole world, he returned with a pregnant woman. He wanted to donate all his wealth, but then he thought that he would have to keep some money for the child too. He started with a small list and put so many things in it that he did not have any money left to donate. So that's it. Hope you enjoy the story. Follow for more videos.